morning guys. As you know, you guys have been doing work on um, states of matter. You've been talking about gases, solids and liquids and working out all the different properties. We know that ice is water, which is also steam. Ice melts and it becomes liquid and then it, it evaporates to become steam. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you something that's really special. It's pretty cool. It's called dry ice. It's actually carbon dioxide. So the stuff that we breathe out. If I get a little bit out. In fact, I'm going to put some gloves on. Thanks for all putting your glasses on, because we've just got to make sure that nothing pops and nothing crackles. So I'm just going to pop these on. Because dry ice is actually really, really cold. It's actually minus 70 degrees. So if you think ice is about zero degrees, this is minus 70. So I'm going to get a little bit out. The next bit. Alright. Now, I think you can see it's producing a little bit of cloud. Does anyone know what the cloud actually is? Anyone? Yeah. Is it? It's evaporating. Yeah. It's actually called sublimation. So instead of going from a solid into a liquid like ice would, it actually turns straight into a gas. Yes, I make a smooth surface. It's going to slide around a bit like an air, air hockey puck. Because what's actually happening is it's sublimating and it's producing cloud, or it's freezing the water in the air, producing a cloud underneath this block of ice. And so it can just slide around, just as an air hockey puck does on an air hockey table. So that's pretty cool. Now, if I pick it up with a spoon, make sure it's nice and dry. Can you hear that? That's the spoon vibrating because the dry ice is actually sublimating, causing the spoon to vibrate. That's the little gas clouds come off. Alright, now next bit. Now I'm going to get a balloon. Who reckons I know what's going to happen if I put some of this dry ice into a balloon? Okay, what do you think? It's cold. Anything first? Can't pick it up. Yeah? It's going to look well. It won't explode, but yeah, I'm going to take this across out. <laughs> That's a bit too big up here. Cold, cold, cold. Get a few of these bits in. Somehow. This is not going too well. There we go. Let's get a few more. A few more. It sort of saves you actually having to blow it up with your mouth. I'll show you. Going on here. 
right. Okay, this one's just water. Okay, it's blue because I put a bit of food dye in there. bouncing around in there as, as the bubbles push it up. The bubbles are actually the carbon dioxide. It is actually this turning straight into a gas. All right. Now this one has a bit of detergent in it. Yeah? I remember my dad or someone saying that they made a bomb and they put water and dry ice. Yeah, you can do that. That's sort of the, the naughty thing. <laughs> All right. So this one's got this one has some detergent in it. So does anyone know what they think might happen? We're going to get, you see. We're going to get lots of bubbles. Hopefully not too many bubbles. Alright, All right, so we're getting a lot of bubbles. Alright, what, what's in those bubbles? <laughs> oh, this is not good. Maybe I need to swap them over. All right. Okay, for this last one. Oh, no, let's get this out of the way.
Awesome stuff. Guys, would you give Mr. God a big round of applause for what he's just done? And a bit of a cheer.